You're watching FIFA Predicts, predicting the big games in the football world via the medium of FIFA 20, computer versus computer. And this week, a huge game in the title race. Big, Man big, City, big. currently fourth in a two-horse race. Will they fall even further behind Flampard's kids? Flampard, he's glad of the transfer ban, isn't he? Yeah, Chelsea have really enjoyed it. I think they basically looked at how Tottenham did when Daniel Levy forbade them from buying anyone and mm. thought, yes, we want some of that. They have 312 players out on loan. How did they choose who to play for their football team? Well, at the start of the season, Flampard stood outside Stamford Bridge and blew on a massive horn, which sent a rallying cry and instigated a sort of race. The, the loanees driving, flying, running to Stamford Bridge, dragging themselves through the earth with their fists. And that's why they call him the Willy Wonka of Stamford Bridge. Wonka Flamps, yes. Playing Fernandinho at centre-back is part of Pep Guardiola's mission to play 11 central midfielders in one game, but it does backfire when the team have to do any actual defending. They had more space there than a quarantine rabbit. Yes, Chelsea embarrassed, I think, at how easy it was. Tammy Abraham threw on goal. It's like, well, this is too easy. He gives it back into where all the congestion is. They still score. It's embarrassing. Is Flampard the new Guardiola, Flampiola. Guardiard. Is he? Well, it's massively too early to say, Anthony, but yes, definitely. Is it arguably more of an achievement to get a team playing so well with young players like Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount than winning the trophy with bigger players? Yeah, I think because Guardiola's only ever won things with recognised international superstars, it sort of renders his titles meaningless. He may as well take his medals and throw them in a disused quarry. Then Chelsea struck again a parry from the keeper that went as far as Willian, who was sniffing around the six-yard box like a hog searching for truffles. Nom, nom, nom. Willian, he went off celebrating like a plane because yeah. he loves planes. He loves planes. He loves planes. He loves planes. He loves planes so much that whenever he's on a plane, he always asks if he can go in the cockpit and see the captain. This despite new international aid aviation no. laws that forbid any passenger from visiting no. the cockpit for health and safety That is reasons. a myth, Anthony. You are allowed at the discretion of the cabin crew to go into the cockpit and visit the pilot. Will I, and is sick and tired of having Come explained to his fellow passengers Come that that's in. what it is. Come back in. Come back in. I'm, I'm just fed up with this level of misinformation. It's awful. Then Man City got a goal back. Oh, goody. Raheem Sterling sliding a ball across the six-yard box like a barkeeper in the Wild West sliding across a glass of scotch. What a pretty goal. It was so pretty and so so intricate, it was like a maths boffin doing a tiny equation on a whiteboard. Why don't they just call Manchester City Manchester Pretty if they're going to score yeah, goals like that? They should, with that goal as the badge. Would it be a frame from the goal? I think go 10 to 12 frames, do a GIF, GIF badge. Pulisic had the chance to put the game to bed, but he messed up the bedtime story. Yeah. That apart, he can do no wrong. He literally can do no wrong, on or off the field. The other day, at the Chelsea canteen, he stole all of the sauce sachets. And rather than admonish him, Lampard just said, it was the greatest stealing of sauce sachets you'd ever seen. It's healthier to not have sauce with your meal. I think Lampard well, is in the right there. It's a healthy manager for a healthy team. I think it was Bob Paisley in the 60s said, you don't win anything with mayonnaise. And Man City restored parity. Kevin De Bruyne said nom 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 to another goal with a, a strike as roaring as a Lions mating call. If there's one criticism against Flampard's team is that they let Leeds slip. Why are they doing this? I think it's because his players are either too young or too old. But either way, it gets to the 70 minute mark and they all think it's bedtime. They're, they're like parrots. Disappointing. This was the first game that four identical siblings went to watch a match. They were Chelsea fans. Kevin De Bruyne celebrates right in front front of them should you celebrate against your former club well I think it's all right to celebrate in front of your former club if you can't remember ever playing for that former club then a turnaround Rodri almost scored before he realized he was so far up he got a nosebleed but he recovered he wiped his nose on Tamori's shirt and he went in and struck mm. the winner mm. then Silva tries to lift him up like a trophy and yes. he won the trophy for winning the game well I don't think Rodri's a trophy I think he's a player but Silva said in his post-match interview I'm glad Rodri's not a trophy and I'm glad I'm not the Man City captain because frankly I wouldn't be able to lift him up high enough or for long enough to let this fans celebrate that mm. um, and and I might drop him and you know he, he's not a trophy it wouldn't just break he'd be damaged he, he'd mm. be hurt mm. uh, so all in all good that he's not a trophy. So there we have it. Now competition time. Predict the score of the real game in the comments section below. Get it right and you'll win this extra special Man City shirt with the new redesigned badge. Gift badge. And congratulations to last week's winners. Your winners are these winners. See you next time on FIFA Predicts. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.